How to set up collections on Shopify. My name is Elias and in this video I'm going to show you how to first of all set up collections and then I'm also going to show you how to actually display them on your Shopify store. Now to get started you will have to head over to the Shopify dashboard and then on the left you will have to go to products and then on the products you will have to navigate to collections right here. And here we can then create a new collection. We can then give out a title for this collection and we can set the collection type. The first one would be manual and this one is super self-explanatory. You will just have to manually select all of the products that you want to have in this collection. And then there is also the second option called automated. And as you can see, you can basically add existing and also future products that match different kind of conditions. So for example, we can set the product title if the product title contains oversized then we could for example name this collection oversized and we can basically use this in many different ways we can also select the product type so if the product type is equal to zero then we would add these certain kind of products onto our collections and there are basically many different options that you have for this also stuff like weight inventory stock variance price so for example you could actually say that okay the inventory stock is less than 100 and then we could create a collection for this which is called low on stock buy now now one feature which i really like is this product category right here so basically we can set that if the product category is equal to clothing for example we can create our own collection called clothing and then we would have just have to click on save on the top right now alternatively we can also add an image to our collection if we want to right here uh, however if we're not going to uh, add an image they're actually just automatically going to display images from the products inside of these collections so you can choose if you want to add an image or not basically now to get started you can just click on save on the top right and as you can see now we created our own collection called clothing and when we are now going to go onto our editor right here we can then add this collection we can just select the collection right here from the left we can then select clothing and once we're then going to click on clothing we can see that all of our clothing items are actually going to be displayed and the cool thing about this is that if we are now going to add a product onto our store so we just click on add product right here and let's say that we will just want to add a jogger uh, and the jogger obviously would be the product category clothing so if we would now add this product let's say it's ten dollars just as an example if we would now add this product right here it is automatically going to be added onto our collections right here so i'm just going to quickly refresh the site and as you can see now we have our own jogger inside of the clothing collection however we didn't manually assign it now if you want to manually assign all of your collections and all of your products inside the collection then you can also do that i will just set up clothing too and then i'm going to select manual and this is basically basically super easy but also takes a little bit more time and right here you can then just select all of the sorts of different products that you want to add for your for your for your collection basically so once again i will just select all of the products now if you only have two or three products for your collection this doesn't really matter however by directly setting everything up the right way you can save a lot of time over time now thank you for watching if you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe